How often does this happen to you folks? You spawn in, walk towards the computer, you know, say, where is the refugee center? Make a note of the location, you know, give it a moment, and then you pop open your map, you know, realize that you set it to, uh, townscape in Stav suburbia you have two mega cities between you and the refugee center and it's 300 tiles away and uh seems like it'll be an incredibly dangerous journey well that happened to me welcome i'm wolf Witch. i'm your local gamer girl and i'm here to come at you with this uh let's play so to do this i uh made it my goal to get to the refugee center as fast as possible but i'll do uh let's play stuff afterwards um, yo, the things to note here with Maria Stewart, our character here, is that she is deft, indefatigable, but also has fast metabolism and is vegan. So that means that I'm going to be like a locust for anything that my character could actually eat, just traveling around eating that stuff. Um, also I picked Speed Queen, so I'll start with a, um, vehicle. Uh, a motorcycle, and I have 9 strength, 9 dexterity, and 9 perception with 8 intelligence. Um, and I think maybe I picked basic food prep. Um, so, in terms of mods, the main things that I added is stats through skills, speedy decks, and bombastic perks. So that means that I'll get things as I play. So, um, you know, and make me stronger as well. So the first thing I do when I really start loading in here is I make a makeshift sling. Um, and then I just, you know, equip that and start going around collecting some protein rations, uh, a whistle, you know, clean water, this gas mask that I found. And I put on this uh, emergency, or I grab this emergency blanket and pick up this um, emergency jacket. I go downstairs, loot the first aid kit. And, you know, I'm pretty much good to go. I could make a weapon, but I decide to forgo that. Uh, also, because I'm vegan, I don't spawn with a track touring suit, which is really good early game armor that I would normally start with with this profession, but I don't have that because uh, of leather. Uh, and I start driving and immediately notice that uh, this place I will have had to leave almost immediately anyway because of this fungaloid and... A uh, fungus that's spreading won't have been any good for me uh, So, you know, regardless, it's time for me to move onwards I um, head on over to this area here because I figure there'll probably be cars with some loot and that's exactly what I find um, You know, I grab a little bit of food um, You know drop a little bit of the clean water. I don't need a million bottles of that. You know grab uh, a, a few items that seem a little helpful and I'm pretty good to just go on my way and just run away from these zombies because I have a stick. Um, I could have given myself a weapon. I could have made a pipe mace or a great pipe mace, but I think that uh, at this moment, speed is uh, of the essence. I, I don't really want to get a million useful things from the emergent, um, the evacuation center. So I um, enter my first mega city. Uh, and, you know, start to roll around and, you know, uh, do things. But um, as you can see, I'm going to let the gameplay kind of speak for itself. This was the harrowing experience that I had uh, upon entering this mega city.
the action kind of slows down for a little while once I make it to the edge of the city. I uh, saw on the map that there was a small road uh, that goes into some forested areas that's near the um, refugee center. So I figure that uh, I'm just going to avoid the other big city entirely. Um, I spot this uh, slime pit, which I haven't seen one of these in a while, and, you know, it just seems like a hassle to deal with, but uh, I was a little bit curious. I'm glad I'm just going to kind of drive right on by, because I have no desire to mess around with these slimes at this moment. Um, and, you know, I head down a little bit and see a police roadblock. And while I, you know, I don't even have the stick anymore, I dropped it along the way, I am a little bit curious to check this out. Um, you know, it, it seems a little bit too rich for my blood, three police zombies, a hazmat zombie, uh, you know, and a few others. And, you know, as curious as I am, I decide I have to kind of pass it along for the moment, uh, just because uh, I have no way to deal with them. But then, as I'm checking my map, I see Orchard Processing, and I, I contemplate it for a moment before deciding that I actually want to head on over, you know, I'm like, this isn't that far out of my way. Um, so I head over because Orchard Processing um, often means there'll be fruit there, there will be some juice pulp to drink, there might be a vehicle, uh, I might be able to get some tools or, you know, pop open some crates. Uh, and ultimately, I'm glad I made that decision. Um, so, the first thing I do is get off my bike, uh, you know, take a little bit look at the damage, and head over to the car I see. Uh, the lug wrench, while it would be helpful later on, and the scissor jack as well, uh, I will find more of those later. Um, now, the real winner here is all these electronic cigarettes. Um, that is a good trade good when I get to the refugee center. Uh, and I take a little bit of a look around in here, you know, don't see anything much on the shelves, you know, don't see anything in this office. I do see this book on the ground, How to Day Trade for a Living, that'll train my social skill up, so that's pretty helpful. Uh, and sadly, these crates are closed. I go over to the other room, though, and I find a bunch of apples, uh, and, you know, I take some time to, um apply some bandages to the various wounds I've gotten along the way. I haven't had an opportunity to do that until now. Uh, I even take some time to take some aspirin, you know, eat some apples, do some uh, apply some antiseptic, um, smoke an e-cig, uh, and then I head on over to the roof of uh, the building to the right, uh, so that way I could harvest the herbs and such uh, that they had growing here. Um, and I uh, pick up the things that seem useful. I pick up a few seeds, um, and then I decide I want to crack open those crates. So I get a rock, I smash this um, display case over here, which I know will give me a pipe, hopefully, and it does. And I make myself a makeshift crowbar, because that will also be a decent weapon I could use to um, take care of those zombies I saw at the police roadblock. Uh, roadblock. And also, I could pop open all these crates and see if there's anything good around. Uh, it does sometimes fail, though, <laughs> because it's, it is just a, a piece of pipe. Um, but I find a wooden barrel full of juice pulp. And because of that um, high metabolism, I really am just like a locust. I need to eat everything I find. My character will have days where she needs to consume like 10,000 calories, so I got get every little bit and drop I can find. Um, and also, you know, s storing food in my stomach is free. Storing food in my backpack is weight. Um, I go over and funnily enough, find a hammer, uh, which kind of uh, means I didn't even need to bother with the uh, makeshift crowbar, although it is a decent weapon, uh, but I'm, I'm going to pick that up so that way I'll have that for later. Um, and, you know, then I decide before I go over to take on those zombies, I should practice a little bit. So I get melee, now uh, uh, level one at least, and dodge level one. Um, now I can also use the brawling style, which uh, is a lot better than uh, 
no style at all. And to find that some of the zombies uh, over here have uh, disappeared. Maybe it's because I uh, died my well, of my initial attempts and reloaded. Maybe I don't, honestly, I have no idea what happened to them, but uh, it makes it easier to get to the loot, and uh, I'm fine with that. Um, so I set myself to run, so that way I'll be faster than the zombie and can do a step and a swing. And uh, that's pretty much what I do. I step behind the tall grass to slow him down a little bit further. Uh, use this bush to some added benefit, and just start smacking away at this thing. Uh, and it goes down with, uh, without any real issue. And then I just uh, go over and get the cop zombie to uh, follow suit. And I uh, just uh, wait for a moment, you know, set myself to run again. And uh, I'm pretty much good to take this thing down. I'm not very concerned at this point, even if my uh, armor isn't very great. So I, uh, you know, do a smack or two, you know, um, I, I do end up, uh, getting grabbed as well, uh, but I, uh, you know, uh, I'm still not very concerned, I'll just, you know, take a look at it, uh, merc it, and then, um, you know, drop my makeshift crowbar so that way I can stop the bleeding. But otherwise, uh, uh I seem to be in fine enough condition. Alright, so now that I've taken care of that cop, um, I, you know, can pick up some items. I also take a little bit of time to try and, uh, equip this holster. I have no idea why I can't equip the holster. Uh, and then I eventually realize that it's because it's a leather holster, and my character is vegan. Um, then I head on over to the body area, um, you know, and find an expandable baton, which is now going to just be my main weapon. It's just what I'm going to be using now. Um, I find some stenag rounds full of ammo, uh, even. Uh, or at least one of them is. I find a riot armor suit. Um, my emergency jacket uh, is now pretty much ready to go because it is just too encumbering and is not that good. Um, so I can just kind of go around picking up some items, though. Um, drop off the uh, jacket. Um, kind of organize my loot, you know, pick up some of the things I've missed along the way. Um, I have also a leg ammo pouch, which is pretty good. An attack vest. Uh, and, you know, I obtain my loot and I acquire my loot and uh, I'm ready to head on off. Um, I take a little look at my bike to see what condition it's in uh, and start her up. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm just going to continue looking for. Uh, a path um, down uh, into uh, some forest or stuff to, you know, find an unpopulated road. I uh, hop into the school bus because I see one tile of loot. It's just a single handheld game system, but I uh, almost get trapped in the bus, but just kind of leave before it becomes an issue. And then I find this boarded up cabin, uh, which screams loot potential to me. Uh, I, I, I figure that I uh, owe it to myself to uh, just take a stop here now, because uh, it's going to be a long time before I'm going to come back to any points of interest after I get to the refugee center. I'm going to explore things near there and not, you know, come back to this stuff. And I take a peek inside and see some paramilitary zombies, and um, I, I uh, need to kind of make an opportune situation here. Um, I looted a 5-7 earlier, and I figure that's probably my best bet right now. Um, I leave the baton on the ground, so that way, if I really need it, there's a chance that I can uh, grab that. Um, and, you know, I just open the door and start blasting. Um, I uh, light that first zombie up pretty good, but only get like one shot off on this one minor bleeding that is definitely not going to kill the zombie um but the first one though uh is in uh enough of a kind of damaged state where it might just kind of go given some time um so i uh take a bit of a run away um and i head down uh you know to to make a little distance let it continue to bleed uh i just see if i can um you know 
uh, get a, another shot or two off on this one in the back so that way uh, I could get that up to like heavy bleeding. Of course the zombie in front just eats the bullet. Um, and uh, I realized that, uh, uh, you know, especially because I'm starting to go low on stamina, I'm going to start to get slower and slower. Um, you know, so I just need to try and, uh, you know, take care of this zombie as fast as possible. Uh, you know, miss a little bit, get grabbed, and then just blast this thing when it's right in front of me. Uh, and that works fine enough. Um, I have now gotten this other zombie up to heavy bleeding, though, which is enough for me to try and run a little bit more, but, uh, I'm just going incredibly slow. Uh, I try taking it through this tall grass, hoping that that would be enough to, uh, let it bleed out, but I realize that I have one bar of stamina, I can't afford to walk or run away any longer, and just need to unload until it's dead. Otherwise, I would be dead. Uh, so I catch my breath and see what I've got, and look at that, a delicious AR-15 with a shoulder strap. I just put that thing on right then and there. And another full, rag of, uh, full mag of ammo and a few others with some extra bullets, uh, which is pretty sweet, all told. Um, I consider this combat blouse, you know, a nice little blouse with... Um, you know, magazine and holdout weapon storage, but uh, I figure it's in too poor of condition and it's filthy. You know, some people might also consider the helmets or knee pads or things, but they're filthy. They're not in great condition. Uh, you know, I have riot armor. I'm just going to do without them. Sadly, this other zombie doesn't have anything really good, um, but, you know, I kind of take a look. And then I'm about to start heading into the house here, the cabin, and see if there's anything good. Um, I skip ahead a little bit, so that's why I'm talking ahead a little bit. But um, I, uh, you know, just kind of start looking through the loot and collecting things and, you know, things of that nature. I pick up the baton because the 5.7 is now pretty much useless to me. Four bullets uh, is not enough to do... Uh, adequate self-defense uh, if push really came to shove. Um, so I uh, kind of take a look around. I find a whole bunch of water purification tablets, which is neat, and 22 9 mil rounds. Uh, and you know, here's where I kind of look around at everything else. I find some nice books, which could come in handy, and the basement with a bear trap. I find this whole ba bathroom setup interesting. I don't know who wants to have a bear trap in their bathroom or stairs in your bathroom and this cabin has no shower or bathtub you can poop and you can go downstairs and that's about it um but anyway <laughs> i head down um and it's incredibly dark so i look around for a phone uh to get some extra light because uh, a dark basement um bodes an ill omen uh, and I kind of find that to be true right away when I find this crazy survivalist. Um, they, uh, have a flashlight, they, you know, are down here, and, uh, I, I have the sense that this might be a bit more powerful than average feral, so I load up to go to town on these fuckers. Um, I get my AR-15, and I just, you know, start firing, um, you know, because... I have plenty of ammo, and I feel like I'll probably find something worthwhile down here. Um, so, uh, this one's right in front of me, and that makes it pretty easy to shoot it to death. Uh, and then I take one final shot at this one uh, that's trying to one run away. Uh, and I deafen myself in the process. You know, who would have guessed that uh, it might be bad for your hearing to unload seven AR-15 rounds in a basement? Um, I look around and I'm a little bit disappointed with the loot. I was kind of hoping things would be a bit better. Um, but, you know, it's still pretty decent, pretty solid. You know, some basic survival equipment, some flares, things like that. Uh, I gather everything from the entire place, haul it outside, and now I'm doing my kind of final loot appraisal. I'm figuring out what's worthwhile, what I should just drop, yo, etc. 
So I uh, drop the things from my uh, inventory that I'm uncertain of and give myself a good opportunity to kind of pick and choose. Another thing that I do is I uh, am dropping all these books here, but I'm going to take my smartphone out and I'm just going to scan almost all of these books um, because I figure that, uh, you know, if I do that, I'll have them with me, um, you know, for very minimal storage. I get some of these fun to read books as well. Uh, and, you know, this will also give me something to do. Uh, if I have some extra time on my hands, do a little reading or what have you, uh, which I, you know, find little moments for. And then I start working my way through uh, collecting the uh, worthwhile items. You know, I do need to think about carrying a lot of food. That's mostly what I'm grabbing here is food and water, both because it's a good trade good and also the sunglasses. I just dismantle them now so that way I can get their lenses. But, um, the food is a good trade good, but again, I do also have high metabolism. I am just a little vegan locust here, going around, hitting up points of interest, and uh, taking <laughs> all the all the vegetables and all the you know broths and soups and chewing gums and whatever I can get my grubby little hands on. <laughs> uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm going to. If I, if I don't do that, then it's just going to end up uh, being a problem later down the line. Um, as I'm traveling down looking for a clearing, I find another road section, which, you know, uh, bodes well for me. But I also find a FEMA camp, which I haven't seen in quite a while in-game, uh, just because of how some of my recent runs have been going. Um, and I <laughs> did not remember the massive corpse pit. You know, I, I think that kind of uh, tells you about how well the FEMA camp went for the people who went here. Um, I will probably want to return here at some point because there'll probably be ammo and, you know, uh, different, all sorts of different things. But even with my AR-15, this is simply too many zombies for me to try and take on right now. Um, those soldier zombies will have uh, armor plates that will block my bullets. Um, there's just a million zombies in here uh, so I'm just gonna let them enjoy a snack on that panicked person uh, who was sitting around in there and uh, just skedaddle along now I also find something else pretty good here a dairy farm dairy farms are one of my best ways to find um, fully intact bicycles which can be pretty handy they also often have a quad uh, and you know, moderate repair and a box truck that might work or might not. Um, but I don't find anything. I just kind of don't want to deal with zombie cows and I head along. Uh, I don't find any clearing that will get me where I want to go, but I do find this patch of forest that um, seems just right for me to squeeze my bike on through. Making my bike uh, travel through uh, like six tiles of forest is just going to be too much of a pain. Uh, even if theoretically I could maybe do the drive, uh, it's just as likely to wreck my bike. But, you know, I take some time here to uh, find a little path, uh, smash a bush so it doesn't destroy my bike, you know, apply some more bandages, and I can just scoot right on through. Um, and uh, all of this is just because of how much I really wanted to avoid going through the rest of that massive city block. I, uh, well, uh, you know, I've healed up a little bit, but, you know, I did get torn up uh, going through there as well, and I don't think that uh, my fate would be any easier in the second set of city. So, uh, I'm doing whatever I can to uh, find some alternate route to the uh, refugee center. But uh, I've reached about the halfway mark. So as I'm traveling along, I, you know, stop for the corpses on the ground. You know, maybe they'll give me some good cash cards because I haven't killed my zombies yet. You know, who knows what they'll give you uh, or what you'll find. Um, so, you know, I pick up a few bits and bobs along the way. Um, you know, I feel the same way about whenever I see a vehicle just kind of on the side of the road, you know, 
who knows what could be in that trunk or that passenger um, seat or what have you. So I just make it a point to stop whenever I see it along the way. Um, you know, and sometimes you find things like, uh, I actually check here if this signet ring is worth any bartering, but uh, sadly it's not. That's very poor barter value. But, uh, you know, the cigarettes are nice, you know, different things. That, that's the other thing is that, you know, regardless of how things have gone, uh, I can trade for goods once I get to the refugee center. And then I destroy my bike. Not nearly as close to the refugee center as I would like to be right now. A bush is the end of my motorcycle, uh, you know. Uh, and I just, you know, am flabbergasted. I take a moment to just process what, what the heck just happened. Uh, I stopped driving my destroyed motorcycle. It looks intact-ish right now, but, you know, it does say that the handlebar is destroyed, that bits are torn off of it, that I couldn't drive it. So, sadly, uh, this bike is stranded. Maybe at some point I'll be able to come back and repair the motorcycle. That would be pretty nice. Uh, maybe, you know, a later goal, but, uh, would also be pretty difficult to manage. Um, so, uh, yeah. I, uh, am hoping that maybe I will find a working vehicle, uh, in this mining area, uh, this mining office, that maybe I'll be lucky, and I can just, you know, hop into that and head along. Um, I accidentally aggro this miner zombie, but I decide, you know, let me take a look and see if there's any chance that I can get this working. You know, seems like some of the parts are broken, some of them are decent, though. Um, and I take a look over and see that the, um, the, uh, safety, the alarm system is still operating, so I wouldn't be able to get a ride in that. Um, but I see this crash as I'm kind of continuing along the road. Uh, you know, a nice lighter, uh, Glock 20. This is just kind of a trade good to me. And, you know, I could use this to upgrade to something nice when I get to the refugee center. Um, and, you know, I, I kind of am hoping here, I'm like, maybe it's just set to 10 millimeter auto because it's empty and, you know, I could slap a 9 mil mag in there, but uh, no such luck. And then I also find a shotgun. Sadly, not a very good shock. I'm just a single shot 410. But I also uh, take a look at its barter value down at the bottom to uh, get an idea as to uh, if this is worth taking along with me. And uh, I decide that the $20 trade value is, in fact, worth it. I put my baton in my sling, uh, wield this thing, and feel pretty much ready to go. And then I find some triffids as I'm continuing down the road, which uh, has me a little bit scared. Um, uh, later on, I would be perfectly fine with coming back to this Triffid Grove area and, you know, uh, murking these Triffids to get some protein and, well, not protein, but, you know, get some vitamins, get some plant marrow, uh, and just cook that up. Um, and then I notice some college kids which I'm very hopeful might have a good trade drug or something like that on them. And I also find an aluminum bat, which so far is the best weapon that I have encountered besides the AR. Uh, and it's a melee weapon. So I uh, realize now that uh, there's no point in me carrying that shotgun, and I don't need to rely on the baton anymore, because I have a baseball bat. You also see a corpse pile here, but sadly it's not one of the variants that has any good loot. Uh, so I just kind of let the Triffids do their thing. Um, I even say nothing good here, because some of the... Um, sometimes there'll be like a mass grave and it'll have good loot, but sadly this time it did not. Um, I also off camera take a look at the state park area right here. I thought at first it was a trailhead, uh, which, you know... Uh, have been pretty helpful for me in the past. Trailheads have some, you know, a, a car chance and a trail map, but instead it's a state park, um, which was kind of interesting, but didn't have anything, so I didn't include the uh, video for that. Here, however, I do find a car. 
nothing in it, but uh, you know, I was hopeful for a moment. And it seems like I have avoided the worst of uh, the Triffids, so uh, I should be pretty much good to go. And then this is a trailhead. So I uh, head over and you know immediately go to the little uh, glass container that has the trail guide in that. You know, I always think it's helpful to uh, utilize the maps as much as possible just to get a good look at your surroundings whenever you have a chance to do so. Um, and, you know, while that information isn't super helpful, uh, there's also other trailheads that could have other vehicles or things in there. Uh, I find some cigarettes, you know, m full matchbox, you know, some water. But the main thing that I'm thinking in this moment is... I wonder if this car works. I've had pretty good luck with some of the cars I find at trailheads. They're often in surprisingly good condition. Uh, and so I figure that this is uh, worth a little look at. I close the door, take a look, and the security system is broken. It has gas. It only has 13% battery, so there's a small chance that this won't start up, even if it otherwise would. But it seems like it's in good enough condition to get me the rest of the way to where I need to go. Which is pretty fortuitous luck, if you ask me. Um, so I, uh, you know, search around for the controls. Uh, I didn't realize the little uh, notice at the time that says that I can uh, press the key to drive. Uh, so I try this seat and then switch back to the other. I even <laughs> look at the little menu to see which seat actually has the controls in it. Um, and then I uh, start this baby up, and it does start. While this uh, car may be leaking gasoline, like, well, kind of like a gasoline zombie, actually. Um, while it may be slowly draining its gasoline, it does not seem to be doing so, uh, so fast that it's useless to me. So um, for the next little while, this actually could be a decent vehicle for me. It'll at least get me the rest of the way to the refugee center without any issue. Uh, cars, especially in the early game, are just as much a method of defending yourself as they are uh, a weapon, a way to transport your loot, and all sorts of other things. Um, so this is worth taking along for uh, the ride, uh, at least in my mind. Uh, and I also see some ants here. I uh, take a little journey real quick to see if I can spot the ant hill, but uh, I have no luck. Um, and I just head on along. I also see a um, busted down tree uh, and a few bodies, but nothing of real interest. And I head over to this light industry. So while I was driving to the light industry building, I get the pop-up warning for a zombie being spotted. And in that moment, I think of the perfect use for my busted car. And whenever I think of using a car as a weapon, I actually think of this scene from the Venture Brothers. You get the boys. I'll take care of these guys. Are you sure? There's an awful lot of them. They hit me with a truck. Okay. <sighs> So I've cleared out all the zombies. I take a preliminary look at some of the loot, pop open some crates, you know, kind of take a little look around. But ultimately, my goal at this point in time is not to loot this place, but it's just to get to the refugee center. I uh, took a little, pit, a few pit stops along the way, but I am trying to get here uh, fast and uh, to, well, I don't know if efficiently is the word, but fast at least. Um, and so I also will end up coming back here later to sort out the loot, is uh, kind of what I figure. 
Um, so I head on over. Uh, I wonder at first why I uh, don't get the achievement, uh, but I figure it'll pop up once I um, head a little further or go through the uh, front door to the refugee center or something along those lines. Um, and I just park my car on the side here. I have destroyed this beautiful car into uh, something that is uh, nothing more than just a scrap vehicle. I can train my mechanics up on it, I can, you know, saw off some frames or steal its wheels, but other than that, there is uh, not going to be much I'm going to be able to do with this car for quite a while. I don't have a torch on hand, although there might be some torches, acetylene torches, in that light industry building. Uh, nor do I have welding glasses fully made, uh, or any of the other things I would need to actually make some major modifications to this car. But I uh, take some time to um, eat some food. Uh, I drink one of the beers that I got from uh, one of those college kids, you know, help take care of the minimal pain, you know, get my mood up a little bit, um, you know, because I also have a filthy backpack on. Uh, which I got from the light industry building to help carry over some of the trading items. I also ran over one of the makeshift slings I got, uh, or I had. I had two, but uh, I ran one over, so I wanted to have something else. Um, and it is at this time that I, uh, you know, find my way over to the refugee center. Um, so... I uh, think that that's going to be about where I end things, this little journey that, uh, well, we've been on together. Um, I enjoyed making this, though, so I plan on making more uh, little videos in this Let's Play series. I'm hoping to uh, complete all of the, f um, I'm hoping to complete all of the faction quests and, you know, maybe turn myself into a powerful bionic, um, mega human or maybe i'll turn myself into a cow or a rabbit or something i don't know only time will tell but uh i look forward to seeing you in the next episode and we'll pick right up uh where we left off in maria stewart's journey <laughs>